I can't imagine living without you. I'm so sorry for everything I've done. I'm waiting with the kids. Please come back. Hey everyone, today we have a story from r slash infidelity. In our story, we'll see this husband found the proof of her wife's affair, but his wife's family begs him not to divorce her. Let's see how this husband overcome this. When the intimacy between me and my wife ended, I posted on another sub find out what is going on. Then I posted on this sub about one situation when she called her ex four times. I received great support from the community, which lead me to put a voice recorder in her car. Now, I have a proof that our problems are not caused by the reasons she tells everybody around like I'm basically not enough, she does all the work around the house etc. It's the old-fashioned pure cheating. It started in September last year, so I'm out of the picture for a long time. Right now, she doesn't want to spend a moment with me around the apartment we rent. She always has some stuff to do and goes to her parents, aunt, friends. She even goes to sleep or just goes to lie in the bed when we put our kids to sleep. The recording tells it all. She mentions she loves him, that she wants to visit him and have bedroom activity with him. They talk a lot about his stuff. She told him she wants to go on vacation with him. Also told him she will be his wife and that she'll leave me soon. She was even talking about his favorite bedroom activity position. So yes, they slept, it's all there. Point is, she doesn't know that I know. Her all family and friends don't know. They just think we have a temporary crisis. She is one of three sisters, Catholic, every Sunday in church. We live in a small town. We recently built a house, but it's not finished. I feel like she will file for divorce very soon. I can see she is suffering with me in the apartment, and she can't handle it anymore. Her body language and total lack of any conversations shows it. She wants me out soon so that there will be some time when I'm gone and then within two years, the AP will move to the small town to live with her in our house and my two little boys. In the recording, she mentioned she gives him two years to come back to our country. People will understand that she needs a father for her kids and won't complain. The AP is her first boyfriend. They were together for seven years before she married me. We are nine years together. AP is living abroad, but visits our country frequently. I refuse to be played like that. Now, I have an attorney and will be meeting him soon about it. I can basically destroy her reputation by showing bits of the recording to anybody. Please help me with any advice. What do I do when she serves me papers? Attorney says my papers need a month of preparation. I would never guess I would be dealing with a monster like that. I met with the attorney and learned some significant things. It turned out going the burn her world way would not be so smart. The reason for that is that we have kids, and I have to co-parent with her for the next 15 to 16 years. Another reason is, I have a lot of respect for her family, and I don't want to get them involved in the divorce's witnesses. Also, I would not win kids, because they are small and have to be with her mother in the small town one hour away from me in capital city. I would be in every other weekend dad anyway. Finally, I would not have a permission to sell our house because the kids need to have good living conditions and won't have another place to live. The place they live now is a property of her dad. It's temporary. As weird as it sounds, it's the reality in Poland, Europe. After our conversation, the attorney sent her papers. They were set to be delivered right after Easter in Poland. It lasts two days here, it was Sunday and Monday. I faked it all at the table, alcohol helped a lot. Yesterday, I had a day off work and I was taking care of my one-year-old son. She went to work to the capital city one hour away. In the meantime, my brother helped me take all my stuff from the apartment and put it in his car. The postman delivered the divorce papers, actually an invitation to mediation, so we could divide everything like civilized people and divorce amicably. The paper states that she is in a relationship with this guy, and it's the reason the divorce will happen. The evidence I have will serve as a leverage when establishing child support etc. When she entered the house, I told her that I know everything, I have irrefutable proof, I'm deeply wounded by it, and she needs to contact my lawyer. Then I gave her the divorce papers and left to visit her parents. Of course, she started asking what I know and how I know, and she denied everything. Her parents were in shock, but believe me, I recorded it all, just like my attorney ordered me to do. It started with my questions, if they think I'm a good, caring husband and father. They approved, and now she can't use them as witnesses against me in court. Like I said, they believed me, understood that it's a horrible thing she's done, 
and she destroyed their, mine and our kids' lives. I thanked them for understanding and went to the capital city. In the meantime, I called one friend and he took care of distributing the news to her friends. Two hours later, my brother-in-law called me and informed me that she admitted she's been cheating on me with the AP, but she didn't admit to actually having bedroom activity with him. He informed me that everybody is on my side and she destroyed our family. He told me her sister visited my ex-wife and told her how evil she is. But in the end, he told me that everything can be saved, that he also cheated on his wife, she forgave him, and now they are very happy. Then her father called and also admitted that it's completely her fault and she doesn't realize what she's done. He told me the AP will never enter his house and that he will stop financially helping the ex-wife. He even called the AP, but he didn't pick up. In the end, he said he believes it can be saved. Finally, her other sister sent me a text, telling me that she fully supports me, but again she believes it can be saved. I don't like that at all, because I don't believe it can be saved, I'm positive about it. I'm afraid they will cling to the fact that I don't have some sort of a tape of them, and my reasons are not enough to leave her. I have recordings of her saying, make sure you'll last more than three seconds when I'll come visit you in Holland. I wonder if your dad's stuff is the same as yours. You know what? I'll come to that woman and will ask her how long is your brother's stuff and I will tell her how long is yours. I love you. I'm going to leave my husband. Please record yourself and send me a video. I'm showing you how your life with me is going to look like. I'm giving you two years to move back here. All that in connection with the lack of emotions towards me for seven months. Furthermore, right after confrontation, she told me she never stopped loving him. This is proof enough to me. What do you think? Anyway right now, like many of you mentioned before, she is crawling back. After her family confronted her about it, she is writing me texts like, I didn't know what I was doing. I can't imagine living without you. I'm so sorry for everything I've done. I'm waiting with kids for your comeback blah blah. She also said that, she didn't mean to tell me that she always loved him. I don't know, they make me feel like I jumped the gun with the divorce because I don't have the actual tape and she is not admitting to actually having bedroom activity with him. It's believable because he is in Holland but he could have visited her here. Many of you told me that now that the papers have been served, she is going to start crawling back in order to save her face in front of the family and to get me back because she needs a lot of help with our two little boys. It happened, she started writing to me on Messenger, but not too frequently. All of the messages were the same. I can't imagine my life without you, I love you and only you, some photos of our kids and message, we're waiting for you and love you very very much. And that is it. It's been five weeks and she hasn't called me once and hasn't visited me once. She had many occasions literally driving by my parents' house. Only Messenger texts far in between. We also saw each other couple times exchanging kids, and she didn't try to apologize or anything, just hi and bye. Her family started to communicate with me much more frequently. Her father called me twice. Her mother sent me a dozen texts with some links to Christian pages when they teach about forgiveness. Her one sister texted me and told me she's very sorry, and it's all because my wife's has been possessed by some evil spirit. Her other sister expressed how my wife ruined our family and doesn't expect me to come back to her. My brother-in-law even came over and took me out for a beer. He wasn't trying to be persuasive at all, just like conversation about what happened and what will happen in the future if I won't come back. Basically, all of these talks were like, we can't believe she did what she did. We would like you to come back to her, but we understand if you won't do it. However, the day arrived when I made up my mind, and my lawyer told her lawyer that I decided that I'm not able to forgive her infidelity, and I want a divorce. My lawyer presented my terms of the divorce, and now we're waiting for her lawyer's response. While I'm waiting for their answer, her sister started blaming me, and literally told me that I'm going to end this marriage. She stated very clearly that it was my wife who started all this by being very selfish, but right now, she is very sorry, she's crying, and wishing she could turn back time. Now it is me who is selfish, and who will end the marriage by divorcing her. It is on me now, because I could cancel the divorce, and just come back to my kids. I wouldn't need to come back to my wife, just come back to raise my two boys. She told me, how I'm full of anger, and how it will just evolve over time. She told me, I should just adjust with her, and continue living with my wife. She portrayed this divorce as my revenge on her, 
but explain that this is really a revenge on our kids too. I can't comprehend it. I knew that it's going to happen, that the situation is going to start shifting, and her family will flip on me, but it's still shocking. For a moment, today, I felt guilty that it is all my fault, that my wife treated me like garbage for over half a year, that she decided to abandon me physically and emotionally, that she wanted to leave me. So yeah, they sway me hard. It's very, very hard, but I won't change my mind. The divorce will happen. Seems like they now have this kind of narrative in, which I'm the bad guy who is abandoning kids. I was thinking to destroy this argument by presenting my terms of getting back together, which she won't agree on most likely. I don't love her, but I would do it for the kids because I love them immensely. No marriage, just partnership, separate finances. She leaves her hometown and moves with kids to the capital city where I live. GPS in the car till she stops driving in her old age, daily phone check, all that after I get my 7 months of dates with random girls. I would also not hesitate to cheat during the relationship, and don't ever tell her. If she finds out, there is no marriage anyway, I don't care. What do you think? It's just an idea, nothing serious, I probably won't do it anyway, but don't have any other idea to shut the family's mouth about me abandoning the kids. In Poland, Europe small children like ours have to be near mother in case of a divorce. I can't have them, since she lives in a small town one hour away from me, and kids have their kindergarten and nursery there, we can't share them 50-50. I will be in every other weekend dad with all access whenever I want additionally. Sad and painful, but it is what it is. He needs to tell them that this has nothing to do with revenge, that he and her took vows, and cheating was always a deal breaker. The trust is broken and can never be repaired, and he deserved to be happy with someone that loves and respects him. Why should he has to give up happiness because they want him adjust with her? He should just say big no.